All right. Someone is holding on to a lot of heaviness. I don't know, guilt, blame, you're blaming yourself for something. And you gotta, we, part of the journey is letting the baggage go, <clears throat> handing it over and saying, I'm done. I don't wanna carry this anymore. And I want to release it and I want it to change. I want to give it to the light, recycle it. Because we don't, we do have responsibilities here. We do have jobs and duties and we can't carry everything. We can't be everything for everybody. It's not possible. And that's to me, one of the biggest, a really big lesson has been for me because I kept, I felt, I, I couldn't understand for a while why I was attracting certain people and why they couldn't, well, weren't respecting my space, but I was then understood that that's a part of learning too, is that we have to learn how to set boundaries and we get to choose who, who spends time and our energy and how much of that time. So there are lots of lessons and We have this environment that is around us and we have people and we also have what's inside. We, all, we always, our soul and our higher, our inner guidance is always leading us in some way. Um, and sometimes that's a lot of resistance because we've been letting the people around us be our guide. And we are messengers and guides for each other, but it's really meant to lead you back to within. And this takes time. That's why I... I don't know how people do it. Don't I don't know how people do it without meditation because that's probably my biggest that and breath work help me to tap into that and then it just becomes it's natural. That's the thing is that there's all these times that you you're not certain, you know, about about everything, but you feel safer in your body. You you you're like I'm okay. I don't need to question everything, and that's sort of this practice of releasing the mind. And and it's it is wild. I mean, it, it's. It's wild to be human and spiritual at the same time. <laughs> so, but you get, we have free will here and you get to make choices. And if there's something that you love doing that you know is a gift, and maybe it's something simple like the, like, the things that you love to learn about and the things that you're driven toward, that you're passionate about. Those are gifts that you can give. Those are things that God's like, follow this, tune in, go after it. I'm just feeling really good today. And I, I, I know that this journey is hard. It is. It's like, there's times where you just don't know what's going on. There's times where you feel stuck in the karma. There's times when you don't know what's next. You don't know who's going to be with you. But then it's like the more that you tune into your inner guidance, it's like you just don't need all these things anymore because following your heart and, your, and following the divine 
you're in, you're more in alignment, you're in alignment. So it doesn't, you don't question everything. You don't feel the resistance all the time. Um, but you have to choose it. And that for me was like, that was the easy part because it was like, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what's going to happen. I know I'm going to have to continue to move through resistance and fear and all of these things that suck, but it's, I know that this feels right. This one thing feels right. And then you just start to not like, I love to analyze. Like I love, I love that, but it's like, you just, you don't actually need, I realize that it's like I, the overthinking is a habit that I took that I, and the um, coping mechanism. I don't actually need that. And that it, but it became something that I used to like try to suit my, your soothe the nervous systems. So it's like all these things we pick up addictions are all to try to like your body's trying to, um, is seeking something to, to balance or soothe the nervous system. Um, even though it's actually a stressor on the body, but too many side topics. God's got you. I don't know y'all, it is crazy, but we're gonna be okay. Ha, ha, ha.